Hey, Rizzo. Whoa. Have yeah? you seen Andy McDowell? Hey, the last time I saw her, she was with Bunsen Honeydew, and they were leaving the studio together real cozy. <laughs> what do you know about cozy? You're a rat. Hey, man, I got 121 kids. I know cozy. <laughs> Nothing yet, sister. Look, no hands, no eyes. Oh, Bunsen, you're incorrigible. Oh. 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 I can't see. Oh. Hey, hey. Baby. Let go. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen anybody dock a boat quite that way. That was invigorating. Oh, yeah? Well, it could have been even more invigorating had that rotor blade not lacerated my spleen. Ugh. Oh, Benson, look! An outdoor carnival! Oh, what a turn on! Oh, race you to the tilt a whirl! <laughs> look, Andy, I've just had my big head caricature done, and they've got me playing golf in scuba gear. <laughs> How wacky can you get? <laughs> now it's your turn. Oh, big head caricatures are lame. Let's bungee jump instead. We can bounce. Down and over and over till we hurl. Uh, is that a good thing in our exciting new life? <laughs> this is a pretty bad part of town. I think we took a wrong turn back at that burned out liquor store. Sure, this part of town looks dangerous, but it makes me want to do something wild. Hey, I know. Let's break into that pet store and set all the bunnies free. <laughs> the bunnies are free saps. Let's go get our body pierced. Uh, don't, don't you think we should be maybe getting back to the show? Are we still doing the show? I hadn't noticed. Now pick a part. We're getting it pierced. Uh, well, maybe I'll just watch. <laughs> Exterior Atlanta, 1865, The City Burns. Yeah, that's more like it, guys. Andy McDowell wanted to be a Southern Belle, and a Southern Belle she shall be. Rizzo, go round up the cast and find Andy. Right, Chief. Hey, you guys did really good. You can go touch the monolith now. <laughs> I'll never know what they see in that thing. And now, Muppets Tonight is proud to present Carl the Big Mean Psychic. Give it up. Hi, I'm Carl, and I'm psychic. Hi, I'm Alfonso de Bruzo, and we've never met. And, and, and I'm going to tell Alfonso's future. Okay, okay. Um, I sense that you're a Virgo who have eaten whole. I find that hard to swallow. I don't. Thank you. Where we find her? Right? Oh, 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 here she comes. Oh, oh. Uh, hi there, Andy. There you are. Uh, yeah. Listen, we've got that uh, Southern Bell sketch sorted out. You were interested yeah. in Southern Bell? I don't want to do that. It's so. 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but, 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 Andy, you gotta do it. I mean, you know, the writers wrote a great scene and, and the set is all done. All right, fine, I'll do it. But we want it to have an edge, right, Bunsen? Speaking of edge, I think I'm teetering on it. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> okay, the shark tank will be over there and I'll be oh, suspended over it. And oh, Bunsen, dear. honey, you're in a room, flaming hot coals. Oh, and then I'll douse you with... Wait, 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 That's it. Hold it. Stop it. I can't do this anymore. This hair, these clothes, they are not me. Oh. Then who are you? I'm Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, MD, PhD, DDS, colon, backslash, www.com, and that's who I'll always be. Well, all right, Bunsen, I'll respect that, but as for me, there's still a lot more adventures out there. I want to climb the Alps. I want to run with the bulls of Pampelona. I want to sit through a Polly Shore movie. That's it. She snapped. And although I've had a wonderful time with you, Bunsen, it's time for me to get on my chopper and go. You have a motorcycle? Well, not exactly. I guess you got to play a Southern Belle after all. Mm. Hey, you writers did a great job. Huh? Wait a second, Kermit. You let a bunch of monkeys write this show? Well, actually, they're all producers. Last one to the monolith buys the bananas. <laughs> hey, 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 honey, you better touch my monolith. Now, of course, the episode Bread and Circuses was an absolute classic. Captain Kirk did save the day, yes, but at the crucial moment, 
Sulu presses that button on the cob. Meep, meep, meep. Did you say meet me up? What does that mean? <laughs> what a dull fellow. Meet, meet, meet. I thought he'd never leave. <laughs> oh. Hello, my little friend. Yes, yes, I am George Takei. I did play Sulu on Star Trek. Rather interesting story how I got that role. Would you have a moment? I don't know. Congratulations. Me eyeball. Oh my. He lost his eyeball. Congratulations. That's my boy. That's my boy. Man, oh man. Lamp. What? 216 in the double at the bottom of this door thing. What? You're fired. You're what? both fired. What? what? You're both fired. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a walkout. Wait, I can't see it. It's a walkout. I can't walkout. see it from there. Where's that from?